Okoma lived in a town called Opumodo. She was a very beautiful lady and a good cook. But she had an ugly sore at the back of her left hand that has refused to heal. This restricted people from patronizing her. One day, the king of her town decided to host his fellow kings and other dignitaries at his daughter's wedding. He needed a cook to prepare food for his guests. In hopes of finding the best cook, he sent his chiefs, searching far and wide. Although they knew that Ekoma was the best in her community and all the neighboring villages, they did not contact her because of the ugly sore at the back of her hand. As the searching continued, the various chiefs recommended different cooks. One of the chiefs recommended Ekoma, but other chiefs rejected her. At this point, the wedding was fast approaching, and the search for a good cook has not yielded any result. The other arrangements for the wedding were almost concluded, and the king and his wives were getting worried. The chief who recommended Ekoma then advised the king to conduct a contest for the cooks so that he could choose the best of them. The king took his advice and provided everything it would take to conduct the contest. After the contest, Ekoma was judged to be the best and the winner. The king accepted the results of the contest and picked Ekoma to do the cooking, though other chiefs were against the king's decision. But how would the expected kings and dignitaries from other communities feel? when they heard that the cook who prepared the food for the guests of the king of Obumodo had an ugly sore on the back of her hand. Worse yet, they had eaten that food, said the chiefs. The king, in his wisdom, decided to employ a doctor to treat the cook. But he would not like his guests to see the dressing of the cook's sore in case there was a need for her to appear publicly. Therefore, he decided to give a prize to the best cook. He then invited the award designer and specifically told him to design a prize for the back of the cook's left hand. His intention was to cover the ugly sore so that nobody would see it. The designer then designed a very beautiful prize for the back of the left hand of Ekoma. It was publicly presented to her and she put it on. The dressing on her hand was covered completely. Only the prize could be seen, and because it was very beautiful, the crowd burst out into applause. The king pleaded with the people not to tell anybody who had not known that the cook had a saw, and they obeyed. On the day of the event, the cook prepared food for the king and his guests. They all ate and were happy. Thereafter, each of the guests began to invite the cook to prepare food at their event. Throughout her lifetime, nobody who had not known before knew that Ekoma had a saw, because the people cooperated with the king and never spoke of it again. The moral lesson of this story is obedience. They obeyed the king and kept Ekoma's secret away from the public.